first of all, the cat looks like it's been taxidermied. It does look dead. It does, it, it does looks look completely dead. dead. Yeah. It looks like the only reason it's got that stick in its mouth is because rigor mortis is set in. <laughs> and it was probably just climbing a tree when uh, it died. <laughs> His tail's going in the back like it's attached to a motor and the tail's just sort of going back and <laughs> it's forth. Maybe that, oh god, this is probably her most f bestest friend in the world, but she has no That's idea how creepy it, well. it looks. I mean... Because the, the eyes are dead, the, the cat, they are, those it does have dead eyes, eyes yeah. look dead. I mean, you're selling yourself to us and your idea of, oh, what's going to make a guy so right is showing them that you have a dead cat in a <laughs> pond. I, it's, this is where it died and this is where it stays. <laughs> yeah. It's so bizarre. I get that you love pets, but why is that your first picture? It's she just probably, mental. She probably thinks it's awesome that the cat has a stick in its mouth because she's like, And it's look, in the water. Cats don't like water, I know. I look, I've got a cat that likes water and fetching sticks like a dog. And we're looking at it going, your cat looks that. dead. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the problem is, is there's now there's a stereotype of women being cat ladies, like once you're single past a particular yeah, age sort of thing. I get that. That isn't going to help you no. if you want to undo that stereotype. Yeah, no. And in all fair, with me, any, any picture that has got like a, a woman like holding a cat or holding like the smallest chihuahua dog or something, like, and then they'll put, this is my first love. It's going to be your only love. Yeah. It's sad because if you're trying to meet a guy that you want to marry and they can't compare to your dog or your cat, you've already lost the game. Just don't play anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your ball. Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> guy cares. Go. Yeah, just take your little chihuahua in your handbag and yeah. just... Do yeah. one. I sort of feel a bit kind of uh, when someone makes a big feature of their pets, like because guys do it yeah. as well. There's lots of pictures of guys with really? their dogs. Yeah. And I saw one um, profile where he's like, First thing that he wrote on his profile was must love dogs. It's like, all right, mate, uh, I like them. Yeah. I don't, I don't. No, you must love them. <laughs> yeah. Must love dogs. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Imagine being on a date with somebody, just go, how do you feel about dogs? Well, I think, no, you must love <laughs> dogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I have never had a dog. Well, you must love them. How can you not love that? How can you tell me how you not love that? You must love that! <laughs> Look how cute that is! <laughs> oh, God! You're on this website, you're looking for love, wow. and the first thing you want to yeah. say to a potential date is, must love dogs! Must love, yeah, the yeah, animal yeah. Is, has become higher priority than a human. Wow. If, if, you know that gorilla, that fell, the kid that fell into the gorilla pen? He would have shot the kid! <laughs> this guy is one of my favourites. Um, I just... I don't know. I just don't know what to... I love it. You gonna swipe right, woman! <laughs> I'ma love you, bitch! <laughs> I'ma love you the right way! <laughs> I'ma listen to all your stories about your work colleagues and not judge! I love it! That's amazing! <laughs> we gonna have the best date! I'ma, I'ma treat you like a lady! <laughs> yeah! I'ma turn up, pick you up, <laughs> open the car door for you, she... <laughs> <laughs> After you! <laughs> No, no, I'll get this. <laughs> I insist <laughs> on me. I love him. Why have we made you sound like Mr. T? I don't know, because he's given off a very Mr. T vibe. <laughs> I ain't going to hit it and quit it. I'm around for the long haul. <laughs> I'm going to love you and your kids. Oh man, he's awesome. <laughs> I kind of want to be friends with that guy. But that's what they should do on Tinder. Instead of just like, no, yes. it should be a hell no. I like that. <laughs> that's why the hell no should be down. Like you can go left, right, okay. or straight, straight down. down. Just take them off Tinder. <laughs> wow. that's, just, that's what that should be. That's a good one. I like that yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. Hell Tinder. no. So after like 10 hell no's, yeah. you, like your, your profile is kind of frozen until you change your first picture or something. That's such a good, now that yeah. would make it a game worth playing. Yeah. Hell okay. no, hell no. <laughs> Something's not right. I've yeah. got a picture of oh, my man, baby and everyone's saying hell no. No one seems to like my baby. <laughs> yeah. I, so you change your first, 
That's a, I think that's a good way to teach people on Tinder. Let's. I'm going to write to the CEO of Tinder. Did you know, a uh, little fun fact, do you know who Tinder is owned by, who the parent company is? Uh, Facebook. Or... Match.com. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I imagine Match is probably for the, the people that actually want to date, and Tinder's just for... The, yeah. I well, I tried are, Match. Are just it was just playing. Yeah, it was rubbish. Around. Yeah. Well, the quality of the guys was rubbish. The setup and everything. <laughs> Said it was great. <laughs> yeah, but as a website, that... can't fault <laughs> yeah. it. But quality of the blokes, yeah. hey, I'm <laughs> <laughs>